Nathan Vantile here. I just got to New York. I'm supposed to help Hitesh out with his, uh, with his son and ask a few questions about Infinii. So uh, let's go ask. Let's go find him. I think this is the door here. It's open. Hitesh? Uh, hang on. What the? Are you doing push-ups? I've been a part of this early on, and one thing that's been very attractive is the fact that uh, how transparent you guys are with the entire business. So uh, one thing that I'd like to know is what is happening with this pre-launch, if you could explain. Sure. Um, well, let's start with the basics. I think the most basic part is you knock before you enter somebody's room. Uh, having said that, the first thing you have to understand is how different Infinia as a company is from a typical company. So we don't fit the typical model in many ways. And let's, let's address what should happen in some people's minds at a pre-launch. When a typical company goes into pre-launch, what they're trying to do is get as many people in as possible, as quickly as possible, take all their money right away, and then you will slowly over time give them a reason to stick around. And I think that's a very dangerous business model. I think it leads to problems, not just in a compliance way, but it's just ethically not the right way to do business. So our aim is actually the opposite because we aren't starting out as a nobody who doesn't have a user base. We have a very strong user base and we are trying to restrict how many come in right in the, right in the beginning. So we had this whole concept in our mind. We're gonna run with this invitation only system. We're gonna allow about a thousand people to come in the first week. And then we'll have about seven to 8,000 people the second week. And then we'll have about 20 to 25,000 people the third week because it's an exponential growth. Um, that kind of went out of the water because we went live and within four hours, we hit almost a thousand people already. And that's kind of uh, one of the things that we're being very strategic about. We don't want to just suddenly blow this out of the way. It's a pre-launch. It's really to give our members a chance to come in, get their teams in, build with their closest friends and things like that. And first December is when the whole thing goes live for everyone. So it, it's, it's a little bit of that. There's obviously a little bit, you know, you, we have a little bit more caution in the way we do things. We don't just throw something out there and say, everybody pile in and we'll figure out everything else as we go along. It's more of, let's be careful, let's be strategic, let's not accept payments until we know everything is going to be great. And I think that goes to the foundation of it all. We are not a network marketing company, and I said this at our event, we're not a network marketing company with an e-commerce shtick, you know, to kind of make people sign up. We're an e-commerce company, and we use network marketing as a business model, as a, as a distribution channel. And that's the way they were supposed to be done, as opposed to 90% or some of the companies. Don't quote me on 90%, but, you know, most of the companies out there. So I think that's, that's really what it is. There's a foundational difference in the business model, so there's a foundational difference in the way the pre-launch is done, and then you'll, there will be a foundational difference in the way the launch is done. So. So what would you recommend for people to do in the meantime until they've gotten their invitation? Oh, uh, what, what, what they should have been doing since the beginning. Build your e-commerce business, get in contact with people that you want to build a team with, that you want to work with on the network marketing side. For those of you who are not interested in the network marketing side, work on the e-commerce side. Focus on growing your business. Get your listing limits raised, get your products made to list on Amazon and all that stuff. It's exactly what it should be. Um, don't you know, run around going, oh no, I didn't get my invite yet. What am I losing out on? You're not gonna lose out on anything because by the time 1st December hits, everybody who is in our database will get an invite one way, shape or form or another. So okay. I think everybody just needs to calm down and realize everything is going according to the plan. And this is how you build a company that is stable and that is safe instead of just throwing people in there, collecting their money and then hoping it all works out someday. Mm -hmm. All right, now I bet a bunch of people are really excited about the co-ops. Could you yes. explain a little bit more on what sure. that is and how it can benefit the people? And, and I know I'm gonna get so many questions on it because that's probably the biggest game changer, even on the e-commerce side alone. So let me walk through it. I think, uh, well, you should be aware yourself, even of the FBA and how you can bring products in and you can sell them on Amazon. We're taking a slightly different approach because when we go and see what kind of products are sold on Amazon, most of the products that get tremendous amounts of sales are actually branded products that have a lot of market visibility. Let's say products from different companies that have toys for kids or companies that are move, putting out movies and stuff and they have related paraphernalia. So what we do is we go to those companies, we negotiate deals with them so we can bring, bring in those branded items. And we have very good track record of how many sales they're gonna get, we're able to get very large discounts because we are able to negotiate with the big volumes that we can do and so on. Now, the average person 
is trying to bring a private label product in and hoping they can get traction on it. What we are doing is going after products that are already selling and just inserting ourselves in the process. And that, that isn't because of our user base. You know, our user base is pretty awesome. You're one of them, maybe one of the slightly less awesome parts. <laughs> Thanks for your tax advice. But uh, in general, you are, <laughs> in general, um, you are a very awesome part of it. But our user base is so strong and they generate so many more sales compared to the average person on Amazon or eBay and so on. We can go in there and say, hey, listen, we will generate the sales for you. We will drive the sales for you. And our user base gets to benefit from that. On the other side for the user, now they get to play in the big boys league, if you will, right? They get to play with the branded products, but it's very difficult for the average person to negotiate it and to fund it. So what we do is we go in and say, listen, you can be a part of this as a whole big giant group and we will run a co-op on this. We will go to the company and once we have sufficient members who are interested, then we bring the product in, we list it on Amazon and as it sells, our member can basically get what they would have done manually, they're able to get from this and that's what they pay the transactional fees for. Mm -hmm. So essentially we're providing a service that I think is very much needed for the average user and will help us take down the road of where we are trying to go, which is having our own internal marketplace with our own internal consumer base, which I think should be the aim of any company mm -hmm. getting out there. And then uh, next on the list would be uh, the digital. So could you explain a little bit more about Infinii Digital? Sure. So actually we just did our first beta launch of a product with, in Infinii Digital Landscape, which is the Shopify product. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at the digital products out there, I think it's about very fair to say, and I might be overestimating this even, that 99.9% .9 of the products will never do even six figures in gross sales. Okay. So we just put out this first product. We were very careful to not over push it. Okay. We did not bring in outside affiliates. We did all of the things that we do when we're being cautious and they just grossed over $300,000 in their first week. That's a very, very strong showing. So we know we have something very strong for our digital producers, people who have digital content. I know people like you, there are many people like you who have figured out a unique twist on how to do business better or know a little bit something about anything. You know a little bit about photography and how to enter people's doors without knocking and showing decent <laughs> politeness. You could make a course about that kind of stuff and put it out there. And as people purchase it, without you having to manage it, you don't have to manage the payments on it, you don't have to manage affiliates on it, you don't have to manage the tracking on it. The Infinia Digital product, Project basically takes care of all of that for you. Mm -hmm. And it, it takes very, very minimal fees. But again, the whole idea is now we are giving our users one more thing that they can do. And see, the idea is the more economic activity you give the average user to do, the better your results are and the better their results are. I see. So where does DSD, see? <laughs> so where does DS domination play in the entire picture it's, of Infinii? It's, it's essentially a product on Infinii. It, it always has been. That's the thing. It has been a piece of Infinii Digital since the beginning. But obviously, we didn't talk about Infinii Digital because our user base was about e-commerce. Now our user base is way bigger and we're covering a lot of different things. So we have e-commerce and we have all of these other things as well. So DST becomes a product on Infinii Digital, just like Shopify product is a product and parts of Genesis can become products and so on and so forth. So we're going to have thousands of products on Infinii Digital and DST is our strongest and the best selling eight figure product on there, which again is a strong showing for Infinii Digital that our first products have done as well as they have. Okay. So where do you see Infinii going a year from today? Uh, that is a very difficult question to answer because I kind of am in, I'm in a place where I can see what, the, what it could be, right? And then you also have the real world projections of this is probably what's going to happen and, and so on. So the, it, it's hard to say because Infinii is such a massive conglomerate. There are so many different pieces in there. Um, I think... I mean, it's safe to say I expect us to be the best business model for the average consumer out there. That's really the aim to begin with. So that's what we want to begin with. That's what we want to achieve. At the same time, I think we, what we want to do is create a community where everybody can be doing different types of economic activities, but they're all benefiting together. So if you're selling on eBay or Amazon, great. If you're selling digital products, that's great. If you're referring vendors, that's fine. If you're manufacturing your own products, awesome. If you're going to be in the lead generation business or providing marketing consultations or whatever, all of those things will somewhere fit into um, the Infinia system as a whole, even freelancing in general. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for me to just look at that and say, oh, here is, here is what's going to happen. 
and I think people who who speak like that typically have limited business experience, and you know they are the app launchers. They're like, oh, I'm going to launch an app and I'm going to revolutionize the people, the way people eat food, and then nothing happens. So I'm I'm very cautious about projections, but I think we are already the best business model that exists for the average user, and I see us really solidifying that position over the next year or so. Okay. And then uh, one question that I've seen a lot on Facebook is um, questions about trainings on each one of these moving parts in Infinia. Is there, is there going to be trainings for vendors on how to, re how to yes. plug in vendors so all of and this, so forth? Yes, all of this training will be there over time as it, is, as it becomes more and more relevant. One of the concerns that I have is if you have so many different directions that you just, you, you can't just throw somebody out there, right? I mean, we don't, we don't bond with five degrees given to us and saying, all right, go out and choose what you want to do. You, you take a long time nurturing that. You try and figure out over time, what are your interests, what is your expertise, and then you go in that direction a little bit more. So we're going to release these pieces over time in an individual way. You want to give people a very clear direction on this is the most profitable part, uh, path for you, this is the strongest showing so far, and give that to them and let them make their decisions with that. So we are not going to like, the day we we'll go live, we're not going to suddenly have, here's how you go pre create products for digital, and here's how you freelance, and here's how you refer vendors, and here's, it's going to be very controlled. It's going to be, here's how you sell on eBay and Amazon, here's how you participate in the co-ops, and here's how you participate in the marketplace. Now you have something to begin with. Start solidifying your business. And that is the other thing you have to keep in mind. Um, we are not trying to throw out a bunch of things and see what sticks. What we are trying to do is throw out what we know already works, let people use it, and then complement that over time and let mm -hmm. them build up from it over time. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, okay. I guess a lot of people's question is, how do you come up with stuff like this? Um, like Infinii, like... Okay. Well, that would be like asking, how does a baseball player hit the ball so well? Or, it's, you know, we all have our thing that we do. And uh, I used to always say, oh, it's nothing special. It's you know, anybody could do this, but I've realized over time that there are people who have different skill sets. And one of mine is being a little out there and, uh, and being slightly weird and uh, making really somewhat uncomfortable jokes about people. And one of those skill sets kind of applies to trying to look at a, sol a problem and saying, all right, here is a solution that currently doesn't exist. Because I think the way most business works, and that's a very good thing that most business work, works like that. Most businesses are created to do something better, right? They look at a problem that is already being solved and they say, I can do this better. They build a better mousetrap, if you will. And I like doing that, but one of the things I really like thinking about and I really like doing is, how about building something that doesn't exist yet? Or, and seeing how that will fit in the marketplace and so on. So I think part of, the, part of it is that, the other reason why I'm able to come up with something like this is the raw data that I get to see. Most people don't get to see the kind of data that I get to see, right? So I'm able to see what users are doing. I can see on a daily basis, this is where $8 million was just generated. This is where $4 million was generated. This is how much effort this took and how much effort that took and how many people are participating in those things. So I'm able to start looking at that and going, okay, so if we move this part from here to here, this is the result we should see. And then you start doing those little experiments and then over time you go, all right, now we are ready to make it a bigger piece. And that's how you kind of, you know, grow it over time. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this has been very enlightening for many. So I'd like to thank you for your time and uh, we'll look forward to the next meeting. Absolutely. Yes, and it was great for me too. Thank you. All right, so there you guys have it. We got a lot of questions about Infinia I answered that we all wanted to hear. If you guys have any additional questions, go ahead and comment below. If you guys already see a question that you wanted answered, go ahead and just hit the like button on that. Thank you. See you next time.